We've all invested into the recording industry at one point or another in our lives. Caroline was fortunate enough to meet one of the men who has a say into what goes into that vinyl. Well, Irene, to some people he's considered as the record producer. He's Marc Durand, and one music critic has said of him that he has single-handedly put Montreal on the current musical map. His first success was managing and producing the world-renowned band Men Without Hats. Now he's busy with another band, The Box, and the chemistry between him and that group has once again landed them on the record charts with big hits like Walk Away and Dancing on the Grave. Now one of the things you'll notice when we look at Marc is how he respects the bands that he works with. As a producer, he's not into forcing an image on a band, but would rather spend the time to make sure their sound is the absolute best that it can be. Just to give you a taste of that sound now, here's the box with a mini performance they gave us in their Montreal rehearsal hall. things attracts you to a band that you think you might want to produce some of their work? Oh, I don't know, probably uh, creativity, originality, and uh, talent. Mm -hmm. Those are the three, three big things? I would say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you, know, you need uh, those three things to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you, c you can be very creative, but have uh, you know, uh, not a basic talent of to do the thing and uh, in that case, you're probably going to be very short-lived. And uh, the best thing in this business is to stay around, you know, long enough. There's a lot of people that just come and go, and that's, uh, you know, more pain than anything else. So you like to represent a band that has a lot of confidence and a lot of experience within itself? Well, uh, no, that can go far, you know. Uh, this business is not very fast. When it happens, it happens very fast, but the, the, the foreground work is very long. And that's you know that's the, the hard part. Like men without answers. Like in Canada, people know that we've been around for a while. But when you arrive in America, they say, oh, you know, it all happened, you know, overnight, which is not the case at all. Did you stumble upon the box, or did they come up to you and say that they wanted you to produce uh, an album for them? How did that relationship come about? Uh, well, let's say that the uh, the more than me, you know, were trying to get together. I was too busy with them and with our hands, and also, you know, they needed more experience. It was, uh, uh, it took some time to, to get to, to the point where uh, you know, I got involved to produce the record. Uh, I think it's more them that uh, you know, wanted me to, uh, to be there at some point. Jean-Marc, what kind of input do you think uh, Marc's producing has had on your current success? Well, Marc acts as a record company and as producer with us which means that there's the aspect that people see and the one that people don't see. The one they see is the one they hear on the record, in fact. Uh, Mark produces us, so he, he takes what we give and uh, he tries to enhance it and make it, uh, and make it success successful as, as far as standards is concerned. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Mark is the one who has the contacts, he's the one who goes around and uh, knows the people who are right to promote a product such as the box and uh, this is what makes the success of the band mm -hmm. basically about a uh, little back before you started uh, working with Marc uh, how long does it actually go the relationship anyway between the band and, and uh, Marc Durand it goes to about two years uh, as Marc has said we uh, we asked Marc to produce a first tape that we did about two years ago which contained only two songs and we did that together and everything went quite well uh, after that, we always kept in touch uh, until the moment where we decided we'd do an album together. Before the debut album, did the box go through any member or style changes at all? Uh, basically, uh, two years, two and a half years ago, we, uh, we had a lot of people come and go. But there was always a core in the band that stood all the time, which is uh, Jean-Pierre Brie, Guy Florent, myself and Luc Papineau. After that, about a year later, my, uh, my brother Guy joined the band as a keyboardist in order to free me and, uh, from the, you know, playing on stage and going on uh, singing alone. <laughs>
that was Must I Always Remember from The Box's debut album entitled None Other Than The Box. And by the way, Marc Duran told us in our interview that because there's so many exciting new groups just surging out of existence here in Montreal, many people within the music industry are moving back here to explore all the endless possibilities. That was uh, good music. As a matter of fact, it's nice to see that kind of music coming out of Montreal. I think a lot of groups are becoming a lot more innovative in their approach mm -hmm. to music, and it's fun. Thanks, Caroline. That's our show for this week, but as you can see, we're only scratching the surface. So join us again, and we're going to dig a little deeper. And throughout our series, we're going to look into things like breakdancing, uh, the Montreal Opera, a couple of artists around the city, and a lot more. So for everybody here, I'm Irene Arsenault, and this is Art Beat. Have a good day.